Toby at breakfast. It's BBC Radio Sheffield. And here on the Beeb, we are supporting a scheme called Laptop for Kids. It's a way to get electrical devices, uh, laptops, computers, tablets, that kind of thing, to kids who need them. We know that many families have been struggling to get access to laptops so the youngsters can learn from home. And the homeschooling is all about the a laptop. It just totally is. If your kid hasn't got, um, your, your, your children or your grandchildren, if they've not got this access to the net, they're going to struggle. There's no surprise, bearing in mind where we are, that we've had such an amazing response to this. Lots of local people, lots of local businesses have got involved. David Richards is one of the co-founders of the project, and Robert Robinson's family have received a laptop. First things first, let's speak to David. Morning, Dave. Good morning, Toby. How are you? I'm well, thank you. An amazing project, this. One that's absolutely vital. First hand, I can tell you that even doing homeschooling on a Chromebook and a laptop, which is what my kid's doing, we're finding that difficult because every now and then the Wi-Fi gets bumpy. So if we didn't have the stuff in, I don't know what our children would do. Well, I can, t- I can tell you what they'd do. They wouldn't be doing any homework. And we've seen yeah. families whose children haven't done homework for literally three months. And we, we need to look at this as more like we look at water, gas, and electricity. It's fundamental to people living now. You need access to the internet and you need a laptop at home so that you can actually uh, do schooling. And it's, it's it, as I said, really, if you think of it like a utility, we wouldn't complain about you know, delivering free um, water, clean water, fresh water to people's homes for sanitation purposes. Well, this is the equivalent, I think. I mean, to be fair, I mean, this, I suppose, is the issue with the the public's view on it. Um, Labour suggested this in their last manifesto, and everybody said that Corbyn was a communist because of it. Well, it's it's, it's true. And, and, and I mean, we're developing a policy to, to try and help government right now uh, look at this in a very different way. I think... You can have a subsidised scheme that would provide free internet, safe internet that didn't have, you know, pornography and gambling and gaming on it to every single child in the United Kingdom for free. You know, sort of three megabits per second, you could do this no problem at all. Mm. I mean, and that is just vital. I remember uh, being up in Scarborough when they were part of a project of making the whole seafront Wi-Fi. Uh, And it was just fantastic while it lasted. lasted. Tell us about how many laptops you think you've had donated so far, because it must be... They're coming through at such a rate, aren't they? Yeah, so it's, it's uh, so we've had we've had um, commitments of, of four thousand in Sheffield alone. Uh, we just had a, a very large donation uh, by Chris Ray and the team at AS Seal Three Eyes included, who donated um, four hundred thousand pounds. And we're actually procuring. Uh, so we're doing a mix of donations and procurement. So we're now able to procure in very large scale laptops and we've increased our capacity so we can now process 1,000 laptops per week uh, and get them ready for school children and it's not, it's not just in Sheffield either Toby we're now as I mentioned with Chris with Chris's donation we're going to I think Robin needs about 3,600 or so laptops the north of England in total requires 160,000 laptops and we're we're really targeting uh, going even beyond Sheffield now we're up, we're up in Newcastle, Lancaster, Doncaster, Hull, Leeds, Barnsley, Bath, Rotherham and Cheshire, because this is really a nationwide problem. It started here in Sheffield. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, what kind of laptops are you getting donated? I mean, these that have been in companies, they're probably only two or three years old, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, Sheffield City Council found, or in the process of finding, I think, up to a 1,000 uh, laptops that, um, that, that, that were end of life for them. And they're, they're, they're anywhere from you know, a couple of years old, some a bit older, five, six, seven years old. But they're all good enough. For children, as you said, a Chromebook, which we can procure secondhand for about two hundred pounds, you know. So every single cash donation, every single laptop donation, is you know. So the value of those laptops that have been donated in Sheffield is almost a million pounds, and we did it, you know. And as you said, I mean, I've lived in America for twenty three years, just returned here, and the community here is just <laughs> absolutely. It makes me quite emotional, actually. It's absolutely amazing. The people of Sheffield are so generous. It is. It's just incredible. The response to this has been unbelievable. And the thing is, when you set a computer up to do specific tasks, when you don't want it to do absolutely everything, they, they, they can be a bit old, can't they? And I'm just thinking, I've, we've, I've got a studio in Rotherham where we do uh, we record voiceovers for TV and stuff. The computer in there is a, a Mac that cost me 300 quid out of um, cash converters. But all yeah, it has I to mean, do I is mean, to run audition. All it does is run one programme, so it runs it brilliantly. 
you, you've got to remember that an iPhone is far more powerful than the computers that took man to the moon. Yeah. Right. So it's it, the you know with Moore's law and everything else that's going on, a two a two hundred pounds laptop is more than adequate for a child uh, to do schooling. As you said, your kids are doing Chromebooks. So they're perfect devices. They're really simple. They've got a camera. You just need to be able to do Zoom or Teams or Google Meet, whatever they're using at, at school, and enough to run the software, you know, word processing and so on, so they can actually do their schooling. That's all they need. An internet connection. We're also I should also mention that we're also sourcing Wi-Fi dongles that people can put SIM cards in and get free internet. So we're targeting that as well. So we're, we're, we'll be buying those direct from uh, from China because they the hen's teeth, as uh, somebody told me the other day. Mm. So we're, we'll, be, we'll be sourcing to South Yorkshire somewhere about 10,000 uh, dongles as well from um, from China. And, and there is a big problem with the supply chain, and we, we did warn the government about this at the beginning, and this isn't, uh, this isn't hindsight. But it's interesting because there's a it, the silica used for the production of laptops is the exact same silica that's used for the delivery of the vials of vaccine. So they're oh. not making laptops new anytime soon. So this has to be a refurb uh, model to solve the problem. It just has to be. And, you know, this, this perfect storm is, is unfortunately uh, hurting our children. Now let's speak to somebody who's received one of these, see how it worked. Uh, Robert Robinson, his family received a laptop. Morning, Robert. Morning, Toby. Um, hey, we, we're me. speaking again. <laughs> yes, here we are. Tell us your story. Um, basically, um, my daughter, Rain, uh, I've got two daughters, Rain and River, and um, we were going, had shoes polished, had everything ready to go to school, and all of a sudden school is closed. Mm-hmm. Um, I run a business, as I said, we've spoken in the past, personal chef, and um, we haven't been doing as much business with lockdown. Yeah. So for me to then go and try and get tablets or a laptop, overnight with the government decision changing was impossible and we didn't know what to do to try and get her on the home learning and um we had found out about laptops for kids and um i sent an email and the very next day i got a phone call and the rest is history so to speak we were able to get a laptop and you know the girls have been working ever since it was quite difficult to get a hold of a laptop through the council and through the school but, I mean, it's just a great scheme, and I think more and more people need to hear about it because it's made a dramatic difference to my family because, number one, I couldn't afford to just go out and get a laptop the very next day, and, two, the girls are able to do all of their work now. Yeah, and to be fair, mate, I don't know that there's many of us. I've got, you know, my kids, as I said, one's on a, a, an old laptop, sorry, an old Chromebook, one's on an old uh, tablet, yeah. and, and they tell me that they're fine, and, and I look at them and I don't... I, I, not that great but there you go you know we who can just suddenly go out and buy two brand new laptops or right. three if you've got three kids or four kids i don't you know. know anyone and yeah. i mean the biggest problem right now is the supply of the laptops Gang they're in. not readily available so at the time as well there was no way to just jump on a big website and say i need one for tomorrow let's get it delivered because nowhere is open so to to get a hold of it was the next problem so you know <laughs> People are kind of caught between a rock and a hard place, and I can totally sympathise with you um, with the, the the tablet situation because that was what we were doing in the last lockdown when the kids were at home. We were using phones and tablets, and you've got the problem with the timeout. You've got to constantly be changing settings. You've got phone calls coming in, so everything that you were trying to get the ch- children to do online, they'd be distracted by something else. Whereas with the laptop in front of them. Or a desktop, it really doesn't matter which way. But with it in front of them, they can have all their papers out, pens and pencils, and actually follow through the work. And the level of focus is, is just so much better. And I think as well, they've also managed to learn a new skill as well. So it's it's kind of a win-win. But yeah, the the data is a problem. We go through a lot of data. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the next thing. As I say, at the last election, the Labour Party did suggest giving universal broadband, didn't they? And were decried as communists because of it. And, <laughs> and, now, and now everybody's now, running out of data. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's, uh, it's one of those things. That, like, like I say, you know, it, it, this just becomes a. It, it, it's just like as I think uh, as we said before. It's just like water and gas. This is this is something that everybody needs. How are yeah. the girls? How are the girls doing? The girls are doing great, and I mean they'd never used a laptop or a PC before. And you you know you you got kids yourself. You know what it's like. You hand a tablet or you give them a new piece of technology, and they are just gone. They've managed to learn 
the ins and outs of the computer and we have had to tell them get back to your work because they've now figured out how to get in and around apps and yeah. use the rest <laughs> of the world wide web so like i said it's not just the school work they're actually learning something new which i think is exciting for them which is helping them keep their focus and they're learning to use something which they'll have to use in later on in life when they come to work and jobs so uh, I they're, they're doing great, and yeah, it's, it's made a massive, massive, massive difference. Wow, yeah. Robert, thank you very much indeed. Dave, what a great story to hear. Made a massive, massive, massive account of it. He said it three times. Massive, massive, massive difference to his family, which is just, that's what it's there for. Also, Dave, I'm guessing that long term, this is good for Sheffield as well, because we're making sure that we put kids into the workforce who know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it, that's right, and I, th- I think we're going to have the problem totally solved in Sheffield. I think we'll be having some news very soon. Um, I think we'll have it totally solved in Sheffield first, and that would be, you know, just brilliant if we could, if we can solve the problem here. I mean, the Yorkshire Post described, you know, that children not having access to learning is setting fire to our economic future. And that's how people must think of it. If we do, if we do not let people like Rob's children continue to learn, continue to go to school, you may as well just forget the future because we won't have one. Dave, thank you very much indeed. That's Dave Richards there, one of the co-founders of Laptops for Kids, One Disco, and Robert Robinson, you heard, whose two uh, daughters, River and Rain, what fantastic names, uh, are both benefiting from uh, a laptop that has been given to them. And they are, they're absolutely vital pieces of kit. You know, this is like when you went to school before, if a school gave you a pencil, this is that important. Tonight from 7. I am talking about... 